In this video, we will learn about the structure of an atom. An atom is the smallest unit of matter which represents properties of its chemical element. It can be explained by the help of three of its components. Let's start with the first subatomic component called proton, which is at the center of an atom and positively charged. The second component is called neutron, which is also at the center of an atom but does not have any electrical charge. Proton and neutron are both bunched together at the center of an atom. This cluster is called nucleus. Remember, nucleus is not a physical item, but just a concept. One of the main key components of an atom is called electron. Electron is a negatively charged particle. Electron revolves around the nucleus in a certain path called the orbit. Again, an orbit is also not a physical component inside an atom, but the concept to represent the path that electron follows while revolving around the nucleus. Total charge inside an atom is always zero, because the positive charge of proton and negative charge of electron always cancel out while the neutron doesn't have any electrical charge in it. Now, let us learn about another concept called shell of an atom. It is noteworthy that shell is also just a concept like orbit and nucleus. It doesn't exist physically in an atom. If an atom has multiple electrons, each electron will have individual orbits. The cluster of these orbits is called shell. Basically, shell is an imaginary sphere that represents all the orbits of an atom. Now, let us look at the model of an atom as a whole. This atom has two electrons revolving around the nucleus. As we know, the number of electrons must always be equal to the number of protons in an atom. We can say that this atom must have two protons inside the nucleus. Generally, the number of neutrons may or may not be equal to the number of electrons or protons in an atom. So we will have to learn about the number of neutrons contained inside the nucleus of an atom separately. This atom has a total of 10 electrons revolving around the nucleus. It is different from the previous atom in the sense that this has two shells compared to the previous one. It is because a shell can contain only a number of electrons. The first shell can have only two electrons whereas the next shell can have eight electrons maximum in it. So based on the number of electrons in an atom, it will have either a single shell or multiple shells. Again, this atom has a total of 28 electrons revolving around the nucleus. First shell has two electrons, the second shell has eight electrons and the third has 18 electrons. You might have already guessed that the third shell can have maximum of 18 electrons. Similarly, the next shell can contain a maximum of 32 electrons. The number of electrons, protons and neutrons inside of an atom is what makes them different element. That is the reason why we see gold different from silver. In the next video, we will learn about the atomic structure of some key elements starting from hydrogen. We will also learn about periodic table basics. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. If you learned something new, please like and share this video and subscribe to the channel.